asshole for checking out of my relationship after my wife said she wished I had a bigger but we don't always get what we want. My wife, 34 female, and I, 34 male, have been married for eight years, and we have a five-year-old son. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let me tell you something. Man, one thing, one thing, yeah, one thing, one thing that's always about me is I'm always prepared, okay? Always. This come from the same woman that burned the treads off that goddamn Bible. <laughs> 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 it, went, it went from a rose to a weed. <laughs> yeah, hey. Hey, you all back in the return says, "What the? Hey, I like it rose." Oh my podcast. lord! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Am I the asshole for checking out of my relationship after my wife said she wished I had a bigger dick, but we don't always get what we want? My wife, 34 female, and I, 34 male, have been married for eight years, and we have a five-year-old son. Over the past few months, my wife and I have occasionally been having arguments on finances. The main argument we've been having is that I want to take our family out on a vacation to a different state, but my wife wants to save up so we can travel abroad next year. Last month, my wife and I were having an argument again about this, and I was telling her a vacation would be really good for our family and our son. We talked back and forth, and I could sense my wife was getting exasperated, but I stood my ground. I told her we could take a vacation now, and we could also go abroad next year. And my wife just lost her cool and said that the finances made that impractical and that she also wished I had a bigger dick, but in life... We don't always get what we want. That stung me. I am aware I have an average size dick, but I've never had any complaints from anyone on it until now. And to hear it from my wife, it just numbed me. It then checked out of the conversation and my wife instantly apologized after she said that. I told her it was okay and then I went to sleep. From the next day on, however, I distanced myself from my wife and just focused on work and my son. My wife tried to initiate a conversation and apologize multiple times, but I usually just ignored her or told her to let it go. I also started eating out as I did not want to eat my wife's dinner. My wife initiated sex one night and I told her to get off me. My birthday was a few days ago and I ignored my wife when she wished me a happy birthday and when she tried to kiss me. We didn't do anything for my birthday and when my wife gave me a gift, which was packaged with also a handwritten letter, I told her to return it. I have no idea what was the gift or what was written in the letter, and I really don't care. I am at my limit now, and I know this is not healthy or sustainable. So I have seriously started considering divorce, but I also wanted to get an opinion from the people I trusted most in the world, my two siblings. My brother thinks I should at least consider marriage counseling first before proceeding with divorce, as he doesn't think this is worth jumping straight to divorce for. My sister has the opposite opinion, and she thinks I'm still young and fit, and I have a long life ahead of me, and it should be very easy for me to get someone who's much more beautiful than my wife, both on the exterior and the interior. Am I the asshole for checking out of my relationship and considering divorce? No, you're not the asshole. And let me say this. I got the perfect remedy. I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. You know that saying that if it don't apply, let it fly? Yeah. So, I mean, he must really got a small <laughs> peewee for him to really get me. me? I'd be like this. Bitch, my dick ain't small. You got that big ass coochie like throwing a hot dog down the hallway. From me. Oh! Hold up. <laughs> No walls. Yeah, no yeah. walls. Oh, wow. <laughs> like this. Isn't it? He must have. Somebody must have said something to him previously for him to think that. Yeah. Because. He probably heard First of all, we know that y'all men, when it comes to y'all penises, that, you know, somebody attacking it, that's attacking your masculinity. However, for him to take it that deep, it obviously wasn't the first time I he heard it. I don't think he it. took it deep. That you don't is. Think so? 
But oh, you don't. Oh, my bad. Y'all talking about what he's. Oh, I thought you were mad. Oh, 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 Lord. Damn. <laughs> he obviously took it deep enough for them to have a five year old child. No, you could get pregnant with a one inch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lord. All, all you got to do is hit the egg. <laughs> you know what? Number one, he maybe he should check and see if that's his child then. Hey, get get the paternity test. Yeah. I, I got the perfect remedy yeah. for you, Declan. Hit the comments first, but I got the perfect all remedy right. for you, all Declan. All right, but let's hit the comment. Let's hit the comment. So the first, so the first comment says, try to back. Door, then all of a sudden it's too big. Oh, there you go. There you I go. Didn't think about that one. There you go. I remember you shit on your shit. Back door. You shit on your shit. Because if, 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 his, if his penis is that small, back door ain't going to work because that means it's not even long enough for it to even reach. Okay, then y'all, you just shit on the shit. First of all, why you always shit on the shit? Why you always shit on the shit? Why you always shit on the shit? Either way, it got to it gotta be a certain length for you to be. Maybe her uterus is just deep. <laughs> yeah, there, there again, hot dog down the hallway. Exactly. Yeah. So, second comment. So it's like, oh, what, what, what might say? What might say? Just scratching the service. service. <laughs> 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 so wait, so second comment. <clears throat> he is never going to recover from that statement. Their marriage is done. Yeah, Benito like. over. Yeah. That's yeah. what it sound like. I, I, yeah, it, it's done. Yeah. Because obviously, because he ain't like he ain't doing nothing with her he you know uh, you know fuck you bitch so third they comment them, they got them blue shoes hold up I, hold up hold up i got i got a solution i don't for. think it's the bluetooth problem no. it's, it's a, you know what here it is hold on bro you know what he need what, what need? we talked about last week he need to get on that pump oh <laughs> he need to get on that pump i got listen or, or he might need the big boy oh shit. <laughs> he, he might need that jaw right there that's a temporary solution. <laughs> I, I got, I Pump that joint up to 30 inches on it. Damn. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so, wait, so, wait, so, 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 the last comment said, she is comparing him to her side man. Probably. It's over. And that's why, I'm, that's why I, my remedy is, guess what? She's, she's, it's probably her side dude that's, you know, knocking the bottom out of her. You hit her with, with the, with the, you know what I mean? And then go get you your own yeah. little side joint. Yeah. Then be out of there. Go ahead, T. Mm-mm. What do you got? I know you got something to say. Look, I've tried that little honey pack. They don't do nothing for okay. me. You're, You're a you woman. Know. It's not supposed to do nothing for you. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, so, they, got, they got some for women. They, that, no, they for men. What do you say? Perks is a bonus in the relationship. Yeah, see? <laughs> Shout out, Mike. <laughs> so, wait, so, wait a minute. So, wait a minute. I'm curious because since you're the only female we got mm-hmm. tonight, have you ever had. A sexual relationship with 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 a man with a small penis? Not a relationship, but I've had encounter. Uh, yes. Oh did you, did, did, did you tell him like like? No, I didn't tell him. I just finished myself afterwards. Oh, Damn. oh, 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 oh. come on, Karan! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! At, at this point, you might as well just told him. <laughs> yes. Well, I ain't do nothing with him again after that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't, th- you ain't telling. How he, probably, he probably at home right now. Like, I think she's gonna call back. Let <laughs> <laughs> me wait charge, for that call since charge. 2008. <laughs> Maybe my phone won't get a text message at 99. percent oh, okay. gotta be a hey, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Oh, damn! You know, I tell you, women are terrible, man. But I don't know the thing that not y'all too. I just, got, I just got a high drive, so you know. I it think. Is what it is. I think that. What really set him off is that that comment had nothing to do with the conversation. Yeah, they were talking. Yeah, so like yeah, you get went, blocked, yeah. If they was talking about sex and then it came up, oh, he, you're he, talking he, about he, vacation. You're talking How about you vacation. vacation. You talk, <laughs> okay, you won't take me to Greece. You got a little dick. You're like, Listen, <laughs> what? I, I disagree. I She's think like it got. I nowhere. think it got a lot to do with vacation because I'm. All right, I've been on vacation, right? You've been on vacation. Correct. You've been on vacation. Yeah. CJ, I know you've been on vacation. <laughs> What's the first thing y'all think about when y'all go to vacation? Oh, oh you my God. I'm tearing that coochie up. I'm tearing that ass up. Where I'm tearing that ass up? How long we tearing that ass up? <laughs> but, we gonna put these kids ass up? We can tear that ass up. That's just what he said because it's different when you got the kids. When well, you're on vacation, well, no every <laughs> second you get, ain't nobody right. you like, ain't nobody right. Right. Real quick, real quick. right. So, she already like, you take me on vacation? You got a little ass dick. Man, I can fucking go on vacation and shit. Oh, you know what, Plot? I think, I think, I think respect, you might be on or something. Though. I think I'm on something. The first thing you think about is where we fucking at. Yeah, but where's the respect for the man? Where's the respect for the man? Well, you know what? Nah, nah, you know what? You know what? I think Plot is on something. Because think about it. That's true, if, but where's the respect, said, though? If she said, that is the respect. you're taking me to somewhere I don't want to go, 
So at least take me somewhere I do want to go so I can enjoy myself. Because you're the only one who enjoying yourself when you going up and down on me. Hold on, with that it's little ass comp- Johnson. It's called compromise. Now, now another thing, when obviously, you, go on vacation, you look for action, don't you? When you go on vacation, you don't look for your regular house sex, do you? Oh no, you go on vacation. I'm oh, putting yeah. it on the pocket, oh, yeah. smacking it, right. right. rub it down. Oh, right. Right. Yes. So, <laughs> oh no, that shit probably pissed her off. You little dick nigga trying to take me on vacation. What are so, you doing? So hold up. So if that's the case, if she's always, if she's felt like this for a while, she should have been taking care of herself on the side. She never been on vacation. Hold up. So <laughs> they so, never made it there. So the, the, the average size house dick whack right now. Hold up. <laughs> average size house dick. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Plog, Plog is really on to something. Yeah, I mean, I, he, he, opened, he opened up my mind a little bit because now yeah. I'm thinking like, so this is why women be complaining that that we'll never go on vacation. Cause they really be looking for the vacation. Yeah, you try to get drunk by the Oh mat. damn! Yeah, I'm, I'm enlightened yeah. tonight. Oh yeah. damn! I, I think I'm going on vacation. I'm, been like, I they was like, we going to Disney World. In the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm fucking in this fucking house. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how many people there. I don't care how many. I don't give a fuck who here. I don't. Give I don't give a fuck about me. I don't give a fuck right. about Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't been first. You haven't been Let on vacation with people. Y'all I don't do like even Airbnb. Just go on vacation just to have. Everybody got a Ex- dumb look on their face when they see each other. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> what y'all doing here? <laughs> I know y'all was coming. Everybody got a dumb look on their face and shit. Oh, shit. Y'all yeah, Harris last night, right? <laughs> what, day, what, what day y'all flying out? Y'all, y'all flying right, out right. Thursday yeah, or Friday? Yeah, yeah. yeah I need that. We said we we one more day. We're taking the kids today. All right, yeah, so right. we got the kids on Tuesday. <laughs> y'all got the kids on Thursday. And y'all can do y'all stuff. We can, everybody try fun. Yo. <laughs> Damn, I don't need to I'm going to, to to have intercourse. I really don't. I, I, and I don't want to wait that long either. But it make it Damn, special, you, guys, you can fuck up somebody else. Are you on a plane yes. with it? Is that, is that what you're on? You on a plane with it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> They're like, fasten your seat. Fasten, fasten your seat. God damn. Can y'all put your seatbelts on? <laughs> they getting busy. It's, in excuse me, Miss. Aisle seven. <laughs> excuse me, Miss Honey Dipsy. This, this is your eighth flight in a row. Why do you always keep requesting the back row? Right. <laughs> and wife, we go to fly miles, God damn it. it smells in here. It's like it's like coconut oil and aqua buggy. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, it's hurting my nose. It's hurting my nose. <laughs> That's your podcast, y'all. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment. <laughs> Tell us what you think, goddamn.